morning we are joined with Lyndon Andrews and of course we have Zoe Matakis with us this morning as well. Okay, let's talk a bit about the program and what you guys offer here. You've been around for seven years now? Eight years. Eight years. Okay, so what do you guys have here? Uh, we do all kinds of dance. We do tap, jazz, ballet, we do aerial acrobatics, we do floor acrobatics, we do contortion, um, everything, everything you can think of. And how did this all come to be? Um, it's sort of just, uh, I, I met my wife back in the day, and mm -hmm. um, she introduced me to this whole world of the extreme sports, and we just kind of created this whole environment for everyone. Really cool. And you guys have a good background. Uh, I hear someone from Cirque has actually helped you kind of develop this program. Yeah, my little sister's from Cirque du Soleil, and so she cool. originally came here back in the day and uh, taught us how to do this stuff the, uh, the proper way. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's basically where the Aerial Hoop program started anyways. And that's what we're seeing right now. Zoe, can you kind of explain what we're seeing? Because you started as an athlete and now you're an instructor. Yeah. So I started here six or seven years ago with Mr. Linden on the hoop. I came from gymnastics. So yeah, here we see the Aerial Hoop and the Aerial Silks. We also offer the Aerial Trapeze and the oh. Aerial Cube. So this is what we're really seeing in those programs like Cirque du Soleil now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of the athletes actually have a full program with this. How competitive is it? Are there programs that you go and compete in? Yeah, it's very competitive. We compete all over. We compete nationally, uh, mostly in North America. Um, and we train young athletes to become professionals when they're older, too, if they want to take that route. And I'm seeing a bit of so many different sports combined into one. You're kind of seeing that dance element, gymnastics. What else are you incorporating in these programs? Um, well, my background is uh, motocross and martial arts, so okay. I incorporate a lot of that into here. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of flexibility, a lot of strength training, uh, a lot of determination, a lot of heart and soul goals into this stuff, So, and a lot of artistic work too. And do you need a background in some sort of dance or gymnastics to come here and participate no. to learn? Not no, all. not at all. Mm -hmm. Most people come here um, and they don't have any training at all, and we take them right from age three when they're little, and we bring them all the way up to professional athletic, athletic level. I'm absolutely amazed with the talent because it looks so easy. <laughs> and you guys taught me how to get into the hoop, and that was very difficult. So you're going to teach me a little more things. Can you also show us, we're going to get Tasha to demonstrate us how she actually gets into this silk because it's, there's effort involved. Like, you need some strength. Yeah, you bet. A lot of arm strength goes into A lot of arm strength. Aerials. Okay, Tasha's just climbing down for us here. Okay, so how would she actually get into the silk? All right. So what she's going to do, oh, sorry, you go ahead, Zoe. <laughs> okay, so she's going to wrap one leg around, and then the other one's going to step on top to kind of lock herself in place, mm -hmm. and she climbs her arms up and pulls herself up and then re-wraps her And I mean, legs. it's not like a, a rope. Like, this is more forgiving. It's a bit Yeah, and it's thicker looser, also. right? Yeah. And it is thicker. Goodness, like, look how high she can get. And then from there, do you kind of teach them how to do movements within? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what about the hoop? You're gonna teach me how to get into the hoop this morning. Sure. Yeah. Let's I go did do it, it once. It was challenging. Lyndon, tell me what the hoop does to your body. Okay, the hoop uh, will bruise you and will pinch you. Bruise you and pinch you. And the you. silks will pull on you and it will burn you. Okay, amazing. So what's the first step to get into this? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm have gonna my try and do this as gracefully as they can, but trust me, it may not be pretty. So just follow my assistant Jen here. Okay, Basically, so Basically you're gonna hang from right? underneath the hoop. Hang from under the hoop. And get both of your feet up on it. Oh god. And I'll steady it so you don't swing. <laughs> and you're going to hook both your knees and reverse your grip so your palms are going to face backwards. Okay. And pull up and grab higher with both your hands at the same time. Gosh. All the way to your sitting position. <laughs> Try to remember to point your feet. And Easy, the right? Thing is, once you get inside, it is so painful even sitting on it. I kept on saying I had to adjust my butt cheeks this morning. It's worth it. It's pretty. And what is this made out of? This is solid steel. These aren't hula hoops. Oh, steel, yeah. not hula hoops. That's why it's a little bit painful on the buoy. Um, look at my hands already. They're, they're hurting. <laughs> That's all part of it. It's worth it. All part of it. All the girls have developed calluses and kind of, you know, yeah. Yeah. the rough patches for this. Okay, you think it's easy, but it's not. It is hard. <laughs> well, you guys laughing there. at me this morning? We got up there fairly I, quickly. I thought it looked actually pretty <laughs> yeah, good, Melissa. Yes. I got the toe point. <laughs> but then you start talking yes. about you're all on your way to throw already. <laughs> <laughs> it's good pinching the bum. The bum hurts, and her poor calluses.